In late April this year, metal detectorist Dave Crisp was searching this field. He was about to make the discovery of a lifetime. I got this funny signal and it, it was an iffy signal, it really was. So I dug down and I dug a bit deeper and it was still there and I dug a bit deeper. I'm literally, I'm 12, 14 inches down now and I put my hand in and I pulled out a black thing and I thought, I've got a rock. No, it looks like a bit of pottery. Mm. It looks like, it looks like a Roman bit of pot, bit of burnish, back burnish ware. That's quite interesting, I thought to myself. So I put my hand in again and pulled out a bit more clay. And there was a little radiant, little bronze Roman coin, very, very small, about the size of my finger now. Then I realised that the, the piece of burnish where I had was the top of a pot. And I thought, I got a hoard. And I went, <laughs> I got <laughs> And I'm in the middle of nowhere saying, I've got a hoard. <laughs> I've been 22 years detecting and I've never, never had a hoard before that weekend. Finds liaison officer Anna Booth knew that this was a job for a professional archaeologist. We actually had no idea how big the hoard was going to be at this stage, so it was very exciting for us all. Um, we uncovered the neck of the vessel and what we could see was a small dish in the top of it, which was actually acting as a lid. At first we wondered whether this was the bottom of a quite a small vessel and it was turned upside down, but when we dug a bit further we realised that it was actually a lid sitting in top of an absolutely enormous vessel of the size that none of us had ever seen anything like it before, so it was absolutely fantastic. And it was only at that stage that we realised that it was actually a huge hoard of coins that we were, we were dealing with. That must have been quite breathtaking. It was amazing, it was absolutely fantastic. And then over the following two days we actually undertook the excavation and it did take us the full two days, starting first thing in the morning till last thing at night, until the sun went down just excavating thousands upon thousands of coins and bagging them up. It took a huge amount of time, but it was absolutely fascinating and an amazing process to go through. Because Dave Crisp got archaeologists involved right from the very start, archaeologists who were able to systematically excavate the pot layer by layer, it's meant we have a much better chance of finding out why that pot full of coins was buried in this field all those years ago.